Hey! No, I'm not doing anything. Oh, you guys are going to the movies? Hell yeah, I'd love to join. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, I'd love to, but I have no money. $331? Why is it so expensive? Oh yeah! Mandatory EMS shipping! And for today's episode, it is my haul! My haul for John. John, John. This is my July haul for all my anime figures, anime merchandise, yeah. Um, July was a crazy month. Uh, Max and I went to Chicago and we went to Anime Midwest, which was huge. It was like gigantic, like, it was crazy, seriously. <laughs> but, I mean, he talk about just that. It was also my biggest Ami Ami order I've ever had. Like, look at how big this box is. This is ridiculous. But I'm so excited. Um, I already opened it up, because I just like to make sure that everything's safe. My card I got this month was a card I already got. I already got this um, super cute rainy day one, so it's whatever. But let's get into, oh my god. Let's get into the video. So I don't know why, but Ami Ami's paper has been pink recently, and I'm not complaining. Alrighty, um, let's go through all the things inside my Ami Ami box. There is one thing missing from my Ami Ami order that shipped. It was Max's figure, but I unboxed it to give it to him, so yeah. Um, speaking of that figure, I bought it as well. It is an Android 733DX. It is the Breath of the Wild Lincoln Android. I am so excited to unbox this one. Oh my gosh, I love Legend of Zelda, you guys. Like, one of my favorite favorite video game series. I've played all of them. Like, I love Legend of Zelda so much. <laughs> um, so Max got one of these. This is my one, and I was a little sad about it because this is my first time it's ever happened with Ami Ami. Um, my box is damaged. Like, if you look at, like, there you go. The window's loose, but I don't really care about boxes, so I'm not exactly butthurt about it. My next one I got is Nendrake 723. I got Akashi from um, Haikyuu, and I love Haikyuu. And Akashi is one of those like super quiet characters that I love as well. My next Nendroid I got for my Ami Ami order is, oh my gosh, I got Yuri. I'm so excited to unbox him. Like, I can't even wait. Oh my god. Yuri is my precious little cinnamon roll. Um, I love chubby Yuri. They announced that they're doing a free skate costume, which I already got pre-ordered, and they're also going to do a casual clothed one, but I really hope it's when he was fat, like in the first episode, like, I really hope it's fat Yuri, because I would love one, a fat Android, and two, I just love fat Yuri, who doesn't love chubby. Another figure I was like, head over heels in love, and honestly really surprised that they got it so quick. I think like the total span, like from pre-order to... It was less than a year from pre-order to purchasing. Less than a year. Um, it was Kotobukiya's. What are, what are you? One eighth. Um, it is Kotobukiya's one eighth scale Roy Mustang, and I'm so excited that um, I'm so excited that Full Metal Alchemist is getting figures like scale figures and androids. Because the only like the only good figure to be honest was that Gem series by Mega House of Edward, but no, that's way in the wolves, way too much money. Also, I really find that Mega House is kind of not that great of quality, but it's okay. I love, I love Roy Mustang. I cannot wait. <sighs> you got me out of breath. I can't wait to unbox all of these. Like, oh my god. So that was my Ami Ami order. Um, I was surprised because, like, like I said, there's only one thing missing. But I was surprised that it was so expensive. But it's okay. I'm not fighting it. Also. The back window is like hella cool on Roy's box. Like, look at that. That is hella cool. But that is the Ami Ami order for this month. Now we'll get into what I bought at Anime Midwest in Chicago. Um, 
I didn't buy that many things. I only bought two anime figures, and I got, um, I got Sora from Mega House, and I got her up for a screaming deal. I got her for 50 bucks. It was funny because, like, literally the week before, I was getting ready to buy her for 70 bucks. So, this made me really happy, and now I'm only one Digimon figure away from completing my landscape diorama of the digital world and it's I love it I have like I've worked day in and day out with it I've had my dad help me make it like it looks so cool I love it I'm so excited but yeah one more left to go and I got Sora these are very I'm not gonna lie low detailed figures they're not really all that great to be honest but I think the way that I have them set out is the best way of doing these figures, so yeah, sorry. Back in June, Dylan got me a Blu-ray DVD of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? And Max and I literally finished it in a day. Like, we sat down, we watched it, episode one all the way through. Like, we love Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls. It is such a fun series. Please go watch it if you haven't watched it yet. Um, and it was my mission at that convention to go get a Hestia Nendroid. And oh my god, she's so cute. I love her. As you can see, I already unboxed her. I couldn't wait. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I love Hestia. She is bestia. Like, no ands, ifs, or buts. But yeah, um, I got her pretty good. I got her for about 50 bucks, because if you go on eBay and Amazon and all that, she's roughly about 60, 70 bucks now, so... Um, I didn't want to spend that, but it's okay. It's whatever. I wanted to get her anyway, and she's just so cute. Like, look at her. So that is for all of the figures I got this month, but don't worry, there's more. I, I have an addiction. I have a problem, you guys, so don't worry about it. There's still more to come. For some reason this month, I wanted to start collecting Studio Ghibli movies on Blu-ray, and um, Target had a sale out of nowhere for them. So my first one I picked up, as soon as I can find it, the first one I picked up was The Wind Rises. This was such a fun, um, this is such a fun and different Studio Ghibli movie. The next one I got is Princess Mononoke. Um, I've only watched this one once, to be honest, and it was a long time ago, so I'm gonna rewatch that. Next one I got was Ponyo. I love Ponyo so much, the colors are great, and I love that they got, um, kids to voice act the kids, and not just some weird woman, like a grown woman, voice acting for a child, like, so this was really cool. Um, my favorite thing is that they have the Jonas Brothers' littlest brother, Frankie, and Miley Cyrus' little sister voice Ponyo in Sasuke? Is that his name? Or is it Sosuke? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I thought that was really interesting. And then I got my favorite... Oh, oh. I got my favorite Studio Ghibli movie. This is the only one I didn't get at Target, because it was... Um, Target doesn't carry it on Blu-ray, and I'm not gonna buy them not on Blu-ray, because it's... Honestly, it's so much of a difference watching a Blu-ray DVD release of an anime and a non-Blu-ray. You can really see that they stopped and cleaned it up and fixed some animation errors. Um, but I got Howl's Moving Castle, and I love Howl's Moving Castle so much. I love that scene. Oh, it's my ever time. But yeah, I got four Studio Ghibli movies out of nowhere. I also went to Hot Topic this month and a really good friend of mine, Amanda, um, got some coupons at Hot Topic and she let me use them. Um, so thank you so much, Amanda, for that. Like, that was so dope. Um, and I was finally able to get something from Hot Topic I wanted for a long time, but I refused to spend that amount of money on it, but I got it anyway. I got the Yuri on Ice throw blanket. Oh my god. It's so cute. Look at my pretty boys. All of them. I really hope this showed up in frame for you. But yeah, it goes all the way- shit. It goes all the way down. Like, it's such a- it's really soft too, to be honest. Like, it's like made out of the same material as the Snuggie. This is the Snuggie I need. Ooh, yeah. 
I was so happy with that. Thank you again, Amanda, for letting me use some of those Hot Topic coupons. Like, that was great. The next thing I got was a tattoo, and I just got this a few days ago, so if it's still, like, if it's swollen looking, that's why. <laughs> um, I got no face on my finger, and, like, I absolutely love it so much. Look how cute he is! I think it's really funny that I got, um, a Spirited Away tattoo before I got Howl's Moving Castle tattoo, because it's not my favorite, but it's whatever. Um, yeah, so I was super excited I got this. My tattoo artist was a really close friend of mine, was a close friend of my friend, so I loved it. It looks so pretty, and he was also really dope, and he let me get an, oh, is that backwards for you? Where is it? There you go. He was also really dope and let me get the number 31 tattooed. <laughs> like, I love it. But yeah, that is my no face, and I love how it turned out. So this is everything I got for this month's haul in July, you guys. I hope you liked it. Um, this was such a fun and different haul, to be honest. <laughs> and I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye